Good afternoon. Human remains found last spring near the Wabash River have been identified. The West Lafayette Police Department and the Tippecanoe County Coroner have just wrapped up a news conference to announce their findings. Sue Scott is at the West Lafayette Police Department with the story. Sue? Jeff, a human skull was found by mushroom hunters in April at the West Lafayette Wastewater Treatment Plant. The police department, the coroner's office, worked with a forensic anthropologist in Indianapolis to help identify the human remains. Well, that person has been identified as John Chandler. He was 56 years old and homeless. Joining me now is Lieutenant Troy Harris, who can tell us a little bit more about what evidence led to identifying Mr. Chandler. One of the items that we located inside the backpack that was actually on top of the human remains was an ID card for Mr. Chandler. Uh, the second item we located was a partial dental plate located nearby the remains. Um, we used that to piece together the identity by uh, placing that on the skull, uh, matching up the, the teeth and the dental records there. And the third thing, we were able to acquire some x-rays from a hospital that showed some, uh, some fused bones in his back uh, that matched the, the remains that we located as well. Now, Dr. Martin Abel mentioned the coroner. He mentioned that uh, it was possible that Mr. Chandler had died maybe a year prior to being found. That's a possibility. Uh, we did have contact with Mr. Chandler in April of 2007, and uh, that was the last time that, that we had seen him in the area. All right, thank you, uh, Lieutenant Troy Harris from the West Lafayette Police Department. Again, the human remains have been identified as John Chandler. He was a homeless man and last known before that to live in Wheatfield, Indiana. Now, while this does solve one case, a little, lot of questions remain. Certainly no closure for the family of Stephen Smith. He disappeared in December. Police say Smith's roommate, Wesley Kelly, admitted to hitting Smith, causing him to fall into the Wabash River. Investigators say that case is ongoing. Jeff, I'll send it back to you. Okay, Sue Scott will have more on the story coming up at 5 o'clock. Thanks, Sue.